Hello, my name is Alyssa Dillman and I have a PhD in computational neuroscience. I'm the training strategist and outreach coordinator at the National Institutes of Health. Today I'm going to be presenting the idea that codathons can be used as a tool for addressing the lack of diversity in computer science. I'm really here to talk to you today about a persistent and underdiscussed problem, the lack of female representation in computer science. Few of these degrees are earned by women and many studies have investigated this disparity. What they've generally found is that there's this perception that women lack the experience needed for computationally intense studies and that the women themselves tend to internalize this idea. It's further compounded by the fact that women don't see themselves in the leadership around them. Now, I myself have long participated in and now organized codathons, which are an event where everyone from scientists and software engineers to code and data enthusiasts, enthusiasts can come together to solve complex problems in really novel ways. I really like codathons because they offer so many opportunities from allowing participants to demonstrate their abilities, present and publish on them, to networking with people from diverse backgrounds and career tracks. We have everyone from novices to experts in their fields. So I really thought this tool could have the power to level the playing field. Unfortunately, what I found is that we are perpetuating the same gender gaps we see in the computer science field as a whole. So I had a rethink. Following about a year of engagement with both local and national women's coding and scientist groups, um, and I've shown some here, such as Our Ladies, Pi Ladies, and Women Who Code, who are some national examples, and DC Femtech and Hear Me Code, which are local. I also developed partnered engagement with other underrepresented communities. And after this legwork, I centered around the idea of a women-led codathon. And the very women I'd been talking to throughout this last year, asking what they needed and what they were interested in and why they had not been engaged became the very women who were project creators, developers, and leaders for this event. At the end of the day, my goal will be the same as it is for every other hackathon. This really powerful idea to facilitate collaboration of all of these disparate communities. The only difference here was in that engagement and presentation at the beginning of the process. For the event itself, we accepted 46 participants and they created eight new software tools and have continued to work on manuscripts and present their work at conferences long after this women-led codathon. We're also working together towards a potential virtual event this fall and hopefully an in-person event next May. So for this event, a large majority were first-time codathon participants and many of them specifically cited their interest was due to female leadership highlighted in this event. More critically, I've observed firsthand how participants not only continue their engagement in other computer science events, but their enthusiasm in convincing other women to join them that were not otherwise engaged. I hope that you got from this brief presentation that there is a lack of representation in our community, but with some thoughtful engagement and some small adjustments, we can actually utilize the tools we already have in our tool belt to make an impact. Thank you very much for your time.